trainers and shoes actually let's get off that thing um let's go into some shoes and trainers and see what we can talk about here da, da, da. oh these amy these amy leon door new balances are really nice um probably maybe i'd say easily one of my favorite uh brands out there in terms of imagery in lookbooks that they use um they have a very clear aesthetic a very clear style very clear design codes that kind of permeate throughout all the seasons there's a thread that kind of runs through them entirely and i think as a fairly fit a fairly alpha male in my respects i think it kind of really speaks to me i'm not sure why don't don't get into my mentions or whatever but i think it kind of speaks to me in that regard and i think this collection or this collaborative collection with new balance you know they've got whole capture collection in terms of clothing and shoes really kind of knocks it out the park and the image is really fucking cool um this is from hype b so it says amy um is it, is it, is it pronounced amy right or amy leon door launches official images of collaborative new balance apparel right um it says the following emily and door has offered a closer look at the apparel collection that encompasses uh, its collaborative that accompanies is collab is collaborative new balance Ugh, the writing on in high piece is fucking shit amy leon door has offered a close look at the apparel collection that com com accompanies this coll collaborative new balances that's such a weird sentence isn't it anyway comprising a selection of comfy winter friendly items selection updates a variety of classic sportswear silhouettes just saying the same thing twice uh double zipped fleeces blah blah anyway we know we can see the stuff with our eyes so double zipped fleeces and some nice sweatpants right so cool stuff but the lookbook is fucking beautiful at the top of the screen here i'm going to put in the show notes for you guys to check out yourself we essentially got this fairly cool looking model running down the street somewhere with a dog don't know what dog it is i'm not a dog freak but again you dog freaks probably love this um nice uh mild gray sweatsuit which might be the official color for fall this season there's a lot of companies coming out with some really cool mild gray sweat, mild gray or gray sweatsuit sweatsuits, and um, I think now there's been a very I don't know maybe a few seasons back there was this real um, spike in hoodies people just wearing hoodies with jeans. Now I've seen a real influx of of companies selling suits, um, the tops and the bottoms sometimes together, sometimes separately, um, which has then kind of driven back this whole demand of having track suits. Of course, the UK rap scene guys have, have you know, there's no there's no video you can see now in Grand Delhi that doesn't have some sort of Nike Nike tech suit um, in the background or whatever it may be, right? But these sort of track suits that are a little bit less roadman and maybe a little bit more, you know, a uh, 24 hour fitness gym somewhere in the middle of Shoreditch. These are the things that I like, right? The sweatsuit that you can maybe go to a gym in and maybe pop into a kind of coffee shop and not, you know, frighten the patrons because you've got your little gum bag on the side. I think these work really, really well. And so you've got that going on. You've got a really nice hat perched on the top of his head. I like how they styled that hat too. It doesn't really droop too far over, you know, just above the ears. And then you've got this nice detail of these fucking New Balances at the bottom, which look fucking cool. I've always been a big fan of New Balances when they have contrasting colors uh, on, the, on the laces. I think there's not been... I don't have any facts to prove this, but something that's kind of in my head. I don't think there's ever been a collaboration with New Balance that's contained a contrasting set of laces that hasn't been good. Any collaboration that has contrasting laces, the designers know what they're doing because the contrasting lace trick is a really good trick in order to kind of get some pop and to cover loads of to cover loads of surface area in your shoe without actually changing the color of the base. So you can essentially change the sil the silhouette and the overall kind of you know framework and the shape of a shoe just based on the colors that you put on it on the laces which is why maybe during a certain there was a period in time maybe it might have been just before the 2000s when Foot Locker used to sell those different color laces with the kind of silver and the frame in it they're really popular because essentially they kind of upgraded really basic air maxes to another level because you had these additional these colorful laces that maybe match the essence on the shoe or maybe were a contrast to it they work really well so anytime you see a, a contrasting lace keep an eye on that shoe and definitely try and buy it um and then the next few images again you've got the model running through some fields kind of in the style of that justin timberlake album that was fucking dog shit man in the woods but this is a bit more of a better um example of that and again you got some nice uh sweatshirts and uh you got this amazing kind of shawl cover blanket thing with new balance logo you don't really see that much often of it maybe this might be because again collaborations are always a really good opportunity for brands to gauge the level of interest a particular item that they have in their archive so maybe for a long period of time i don't know why new balance hadn't 
put out much clothing. I'm not sure if New Balance do New Balance put out a lot of clothing on their skateboarding side because I know they've, they've they've really pumped out the shoes in the New Balance skateboarding division. Like they they fucking go for it. They're not fucking around. I think it's just launched maybe a couple of seasons ago, a couple of years ago. The New Balance skateboarding division. Now they've got you know whole plethora of shoes. They don't rest on their laurels on that side. So I reckon if, I wonder if they've got much clothing on that side. Whether they've got snapbacks or you know little bags and trousers and shit like chino type shits. Maybe they have, but I think New Balance are. If any, if if ever there was a brand that really needed to kind of level up its clothing, or maybe just introduce it, I think it's New Balance. I think they can kind of occupy the same area of space as Champion, where they're able to kind of you know just re-release classic um, athletic wear uh, silhouettes, you know, hoodies, sweatshirts, sweat shorts, running shorts, um, warm-up pants. You know, those kind of like quintessential pieces, like just those those sle- those fleeces you you've seen. Those will work really well for New Balance. And again, they kind of are very much a, a part of New Balance's image and New Balance's history. I think you can look back on a m- m- uh, whole plethora of archive images and find, you know, loads of these kind of moustache wearing 60s runners wearing these really short, short shorts and tiny vests. And they could easily kind of bring those back out again and people will be all over them, I reckon. I reckon so. Um, especially in the lifestyle, in the lifestyle di- uh, division piece, or the in the lifestyle fitness area, I think there's a real good um, room there for New Balance to really kind of stake a claim and really kind of compete with the likes of Champion and all these other kind of brands out there. And also, it might be an opportunity then for them maybe to make some blanks and to maybe supply uh, brands with the possibility of manufacturing some of their um, fleeces and stuff in their factories that would be pretty cool especially if they do some stuff in in the UK like they've done with the Made in UK New Balances some of the brands I like to have their stuff made in the UK and have that stamp of approval could maybe use some of their factories subsides that way that would be a really cool way I think going forward but I'm a big fan of it man that clothing the clothing looks fucking awesome a really nice colour pop on that yellow jumper just before some nice cool images of a house here a dog and then of course we've got the New Balances right and the New Balances look fucking, there's a really amazing, uh, is it Land Rover Defender? Yeah, Land Rover, I think it's Land Rover Defender, the old school kind of 4x4. Four four, um, that's really popular. And again, see contrasting laces. Again, see the contrasting laces here. We've got two colorways. We've got the colorway with the yellow laces and we've got this colorway here with like the green, dark blue upper and a completely white midsole and outsole, which I'm not usually a fan of because I think it, they end up picking up dirt too much or end up kind of, you know... Um, uh, be getting decolored, but maybe, maybe um this color, this coloration. Sorry, maybe this is part of the process. It's probably maybe doing a uh, inspiration from the Tom Sachs uh, Mars Yards, where essentially they've kind of you know they've essentially I think he made it without coating the midsole, the outsole, so that it picks up dirt, so they look a bit more worn in. So you can't essentially keep them box fresh. Um, I like that. And then you got also on the other image, uh, on the other side, you've got one 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 pair with um the blue laces, another pair with the white laces. Again, showing that uh the switch in the laces really kind of adds a bit of pop to the overall shoe. But this, the, my favorite colorway, definitely has to be the one that's like gray green with a gray. So it's got essentially like a white midsole, uh, off white midsole with like a crisp white outsole, which I'm I quite like that combination. Actually, looking at it now, um. Again, easily one of the best collaborations I've seen of New Balances this year. Really, really up there. Some of the best stuff they've done. Um, I'm sure there's a, a concentrated effort with New Balance to kind of collaborate with loads of upcoming brands because there's no no coincidence that loads of brands have suddenly kind of been pushing out New Balance um, collaborations. Same with Essex as well. It looks like there's, they've um, got somebody else in charge of the kind of special projects division maybe in that regard. So that might be quite cool going forward. But yeah, I'm a big fan of these shoes. I think they look fucking awesome. Um, again, I'm not sure how possible they're going to be uh, to buy whether or not you're going to have to kind of fucking sell a kidney, register your mum's maiden name to go and buy them, but they look fucking banging. And again, um, hopefully we see more of these and coming up from Amy and Doyle. I think that this could be a collaboration that we keep seeing season in, season out. They could potentially keep, you know, they could potentially do this in the same vein that J. Crew did a lot of their New Balance collaboration. Remember, they do some pretty cool ones and Steve Allen back in the day too used to do some pretty cool New Balance collaboration. Maybe you can see a lot of, it. maybe every season New Balance just hit up um, Emily and Dor, Amy Leon Dor, and essentially, you know, offer them a chance to do a shoe and put it on the runway. You know, that would be a cool way to kind of get these shoes out there and really boost their popularity. But again, I'm a big fan of them. They're going to be effective. They're available, I think, last thursday so definitely check them out if you're that way inclined nine 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 zeros um in two really cool colorways so definitely check them out really really fun colorways and pieces from emily and door and i'm a big fan of them going forward man and again see like, what see what i mean about the how you um what colors you choose on the upper really kind of determines the shape the shape of these ones at the front 
just for um of, of the ones that like kind of gray with green and white they look different just because of where the color placement has been placed so the front of this toe box has been colored differently to that and just just those little kind of differences really change the overall structure of the shoe even this little pop on the heel the yellow in tying in with the laces really change the overall makeup of them because i didn't know they were the same model i thought they were a different model or different shape but they're, they're obviously not i think that might be the instep of the shoe it makes it look a bit different but yeah big fan of the shoe big fan of what they're doing big fan of the overall imagery that they use in the lookbook and again um definitely recommend you check them out they're available for, what was that they said so last thursday right so definitely check them out um new balance and a million door collaboration coming right at you coming right at you again this is the fleeces right nice sweatpants and all the clothing they've got some nice uh sweatshirts here jumpers great hoodies again the little logo on the chest pocket just very cleverly and very subtly done nothing too crazy just really nice complimentary pieces that go really well with the shoes the the colorway for the fucking sweats is really nice isn't it all white mild gray and a really bright yellow and i like that the fact that they've got the same color logo all three just change the essence colorway right i think that's the stitching on the yellow or the for the just underneath the actual font for new balance is white so the yellow yeah i like it man i like all of it all of it looks really cool so whoever's doing the collaborative work at new balance and is putting out these projects you deserve a little pat on the shoulder um my friend um keep up the good work this is fucking cool man good good to see hopefully the the kids out there's all well react well to them too i'm not sure if it matters as well because i think there is a big market out there for guys just want to wear cool shoes that don't necessarily want to buy Yeezys and shit or buy something that looks like you know it's been chucked into a fucking blender but I like this it looks really cool good, Im good imagery good use of materials good use of colours and again um, I'm pretty sure they'll be readily available for most people to buy because they're not Yeezys and so if you're that way inclined definitely check them out nice collab nice collab <laughs>